What are you waiting for? Buckle up because you're in for another fun mud pool ride. Ayan, so mga monsters, pag sinabi natin square root property by the name itself, it literally means just getting the square root of a number. So, itong method na to ay ginagamit para mag-solve ng isang quadratic equation na kung saan b is equal to 0. That is, this is best used when the quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus c equals to 0. Alright, so without further ado, para mas maintindihan natin kung paano ginagamit yung square root property, let us work on a couple of exercises. Let's start! Alright, now let's have example number 1. You have x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Kapag gusto mong gamitin yung square root property, ang una mong gagawin is to transpose the constant number to the other side of the equation. That is, by applying either the addition property of equality or the subtraction property of equality. So, paano mo nalaman kung ABE or SPE yung gagamitin mo? Every time na negative number yung gusto mong ilipat sa kabilang side ng equation, APE ang gagamitin mo. Pag positive naman yung ilipat, SPE naman yun. That is the reason why nagbabago yung sign ng isang uh, number pag nilipat siya sa kabilang side ng equation. So let me show you kung paano natin uh, pinaperform yung addition property of equality. So you yeah, for this case, I want to transpose negative 4 to the other side. In order for me to uh, be able to do that one, I need to add 4 on both sides of the equation. So, magiging x squared minus 4 plus 4 plus equals to 0 plus 4. Ayan. Yan yung addition property of equality. Whatever you added dito sa, sa left side ng equation mo, yun din yung i-add mo sa right side ng equation. Ayan. And then after that, simplify. Of course, negative 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Kaya may iwan na lang dito ay x squared equals to 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. Ayan. Next, pagkatapos mo ilipat yung constant number, ang next na gagawin mo ay sisiguraduhin mo na ang coefficient ng variable ay positive 1. Kasi, doon mo lang magagamit yung square root property. Ayan. So, for this case, okay na siya kasi positive 1 na yung coefficient na. Ayan. We can now proceed on the next step which is uh, extracting the square root. Ayan. Get the square root. Ayan. The square root of x squared is equal to x. And the square root of 4 is 2. However, don't forget that whenever getting the square root of a number, there will always be two roots. The negative and the positive root. Kaya lagi nyo lalagay dito sa uh, final answer ninyo yung positive and negative sign. Indicating that your solution set, okay? So your solution set is consists of a negative 2 and a positive 2. Ayan. Bakit dalawa yung sagot? Kasi you're dealing with quadratic equations. Quadratic equations are polynomials of degree 2. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang dalawang sagot. Alright? So that's it for example number 1. Ayan. So for example number 2, you have 3x squared minus 27 equal to 0. We know already the first, uh, the first step, right? So kailangan natin ilipat si negative 27 dito sa kapilang side ng equation. Again, this is a negative number. So, we are going to apply APE. That is, you have 3x squared minus 27 plus 27 equal to 0 plus 27. And then, after that, simplify. So, you'll have negative 27 plus 27 is already equal to 0. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay 3x squared equals to 0 plus 27 is 27. Ayan. Next, hindi pa positive 1 yung, yung uh, coefficient ng variable mo. So, kailangan uh, tatanggalin mo siya dyan. At matatanggal ka lang yan kapag dinivide natin both sides by whatever that coefficient is. Ayan. So, since ito, 3 siya, gusto natin magiging equal to 1 siya. Kaya in order for us to do that one is to uh, divide both sides by 3. Or by applying the multiplication property of equality, we are going to multiply both sides by one third. And so you have uh, divided by 3, divided by 3. In that way, 3 divided by 3 will already give you, I mean, will give you uh, positive 1. So you have x squared equals to 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. Ayan. So since positive 1 na yan, pwede ka na mag-proceed sa uh, paggamit ng square root property. So you have the square root of x squared and the square root of 9. Again, the square root of x squared is simply x. And the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. Therefore, the solution set for this quadratic equation is consists of a negative 3 and a positive 3. 
plus 6 equals to 0 plus 6. So this is already equal to 0. You have 3y squared over 4 equal to 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. Next, uh, since this is fraction, pwede naman, may kanya-kanya tayong technique. So, kung ako, ang tatanungin, since may equal sign ka sa gitna, ibig sabihin, pwede tayo mag-cross multiply dito para mas mabilis matanggal yung uh, denominator na 4. Or, yung iba naman ang ginagamit dito, LCM. Since isa lang naman yung, uh, isa lang naman yung, tawag dito, fraction na number natin, ito lang, 3 over 4. Yung iba, ang gagawin dito, yung multiply sa 4, yung uh, both sides of the equation. Pero para mas mabilis, ang gagawin na lang natin agad ay, i-cross multiply na lang natin yan. Kasi, parang proportion, pag may equal sign ka dito sa gitna, ibig sabihin, you're dealing with proportion naman. So, you can use the cross multiplication process. So, this is equal to, 3y squared equal to 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Ayan. So, meron ka na namang 3 dito. Kaya, uh, hindi pa tayo pwede mag-proceed sa square root property. Ang gagawin mo, i-divide muna natin both sides by 3. So, you'll have y squared equal to 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. And that's the time na pwede ka na mag-extract ng square root. And you'll have Ayan. So, the square root of y squared is y. Ayan. Then, you have square root of 8 is, uh, I mean, 8 is not a perfect square number. However, you can simplify that one because 8 is simply the product of 2 and 4. And 4 is a perfect number. So, this square root of 8 can be simplified as positive negative the square root of 4 which is 2 times the square root of 2. So, therefore, the solution set for this quadratic equation is um, negative 2 squared of 2 and positive 2 squared of 2. Alright, so for our next example, we have the quantity x plus 2 squared equals to 16. Now, you don't have to expand this um, binomial anymore just because meron siyang exponent na 2. This can be solved using the square root property already. Uh, parang take this one na uh, uh, indication lang siya that you are dealing with a quadratic equation. Alright? So, yan. First things first, tingnan mo muna kung yung constant number na wala dito sa loob ng parenthesis ay nasa labas, ay nasa kapilang side na ng equation. So, for this case, ayos na, nakakawesa na siya, nandito na siya sa uh, right side ng equation. Next, titignan mo kung may number before the um, binomial. Alright? Since wala na at positive to, we can now proceed to extracting the square roots of both terms. Alright? So, you have the square root of the quantity x plus 2 squared and the square root of 16. Ayan. So, simply cancel this one out. Tapos, i-break down ko lang yung binomial. Next, equal to the square root of 16 is equal to positive negative 4. Ayan. Pero, unlike dun sa nauna nating examples, dito may kailangan pa tayong gawin. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, meron pa tayong binomial na nandito sa left side ng ating equation. Meron pa siyang kasamang constant number. So, hindi pa ito yung pinaka-value ng uh, variable na x mo. So, ang gagawin natin dito, ayan. So, simple lang, i-equate lang natin to. You'll have x plus 2 equal to yung unang root niya which is 4 and then you'll have x plus 2 equal to the second root which is negative 4. Ayan. So, dyan yung makikita yung importance ng sign nung uh, square root of a number. Kasi nga, nagiging dalawa yung um, kumbaga, nagiging dalawa yung equations mo. Nagiging dalawang magkaibang values sila. Ayan. So, for you to be able to get the first value of x, simply transpose this one to the other side. Since this is a positive sign, you're going to apply now the SPE. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ima-minus mo yung 2 dito at saka dito sa kabilang side ng equation mo. So, you have x plus 2 minus 2 equals to 4 minus 2. Ayan. So, you have 2 minus 2. This is already equal to 0. Then, you have x. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, the first value of x is 2. And, ganun lang din yung gagawin mo para makuha mo yung second value of x. Again, we have to transpose the constant number 2 to the other side of the equation. So, again, use the SPE. So, you have x plus 2 minus 2 equal to negative 4 minus 2. Again, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So, you have x equals to negative 4 minus 2 is equal to negative 6. 
Therefore, the solution set, the solution set for this quadratic equation is simply equal to 2 and negative 6. And that's it. And so for our last example, we have uh, 5 times the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 10 equal to 0. Again, first step, transpose uh, the constant number to the other side of the equation. So you'll have, ayan, negative yung gusto mo ilipat. So you're going to apply the addition property of equality. So you'll have 5 times the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 10 plus 10 equal to 0 plus 10. Alright? So you have negative 10 plus 10, so this is already equal to 0. Ayan, yung natira na lang is 5 times the quantity x plus 3 squared equals to 0 plus 10 is 10. Ayan. However, meron pa tayong um, coefficient na nandito sa labas ng parenthesis mo. Kaya kailangan, uh, kung ano man yung number na yan, para mas mabilis maintindihan, kung anong number na nandito sa labas ng parenthesis mo, yun yung gagamitin mong um, pang-divide dito at saka sa number na nandito sa right side ng equation mo. Ayan, so you have divided by 5, divided by 5. In that way, this will now be equal to 1. Kaya ang matitira na lang dyan ay x plus 3 squared. And then, divided by 5 is equal to 2. Ayan. And now, uh, the next thing or yung last step na nagagawin mo dito is to simply extract the square root of both uh, terms of the equation. So you'll have square root na to, tapos square root niya. Cancel this one out. So you'll have x plus 3, bring down the binomial, and this is equal to, since 2 is not a perfect square, giving sabihin this is just equal to positive negative square root of 2. Again, hindi pa yan yung final answer natin. So you'll have x plus 3 equal to positive square root of 2, and the other one is x plus 3 equal to the negative square root of 2. Next, transpose positive 3 to the other side, so you'll have x plus 3 minus 3 equal to square root of 2 minus 3. Next, this is 3 minus 3, so this is already equal to 0, so you'll have x equal to the square root of 2 minus 3. You cannot subtract this one because uh, 2 is a radical number, so you cannot uh, subtract a radical number and a whole number. So you can leave it as it is. Next, same process for the second value of x. So you'll have, let's post this to the other side. So you'll have x plus 3 minus 3 using the SPE equals to negative square root of 2 minus 3. So this is 0. You'll have x equals to negative square root of 2 minus 3. So this is the second value of x. Therefore, the solution set for this quadratic equation is square root of 2 minus 3 and negative square root of 2 minus 3. That's it, my masters. I hope you have learned something. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Much is fun. Bye. <laughs> Close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.